Hello and welcome back to Python Lessons on Code Academy. Today we'll be starting off a new part of our lesson study. So apparently it's called Student Becomes the Teacher. So let's see what uh, it's going to hold for us. Um, so last time we finished the owning a store project which included using functions and mainly dictionaries. So let's see what we'll need to do now. Lesson number one. <laughs> Welcome to this challenge course. Until now we've been leading you by the hand and working on some short and relatively easy projects. This is a challenge so be ready. And I have faith in us so let's not let, let them down. We're going to switch it up a bit and allow you to be the teacher of your own class. Make a great book for all of your students. So that's probably an example of how we can do something like uh, of what's going to give it in the instructions. The example above is just to remind you how to create a dictionary and then to access the item stored by the cat key. Okay. So create three dictionaries called Lloyd, Alice and Tyler. So Lloyd equals that. Uh, Alice equals curly brackets and Tyler equals curly brackets. Give each dictionary the keys name, homework, quizzes and tests. So name, homework, quizzes, name, tests. One, two, three, four, two, three, four. Um, name, so name, colon and any value for them have the name key be the name of the student so okay and the other keys should be an empty list so we'll need this to be Tyler as a string I'm guessing oops that's not how you spell Tyler <laughs> and comma I always forget the comma so let's not do that this time um, name what else was there oh what's up with the indentation okay homework oops not there homework also a string and colon um so it's telling us to make it an empty list yes okay uh quizzes quizzes colon empty list and tests colon empty list so we can easily just copy these and just change the name um, okay we can get rid of the blank space uh, oops not that so instead of Tyler this should be Alice capital A or at least I think it should be a capital A I mean that but that's what the task is asking us hopefully uh, Lloyd so let's save and submit invalid syntax uh, your go through global name Lloyd is not defined uh, I did Quizzes file Python line four. Quizzes valid syntax. Oh, I did forget the commas. Ah, that's embarrassing. <laughs> yes, okay, that was the problem. So let's move on. So now fill out your Lloyd dictionary with the appropriate scores. To save you some time, we filled out the rest of them for you. Thank you. So for homework, this is his score, I'm guessing. Then quizzes, that's his score, and test score, that. Well, his homework score is quite good. His quiz and test score is, aren't that good. Make sure to include the decimal points so your grades are stored as floats. This will be important later. So that was simple. So, and Let's move on. Put it together. 
Now let's put the three dictionaries in the list together. My list, so that's an example of how we can create a list. Uh, below your code, create a list called students. So let's do that. Equals, it contains Lloyd, Alice, and Tyler. So Lloyd, Alice, Tyler. Save and submit. There we go. Excellent. Now you need a hard copy document with all of your students' grades. The example above is just to remind you how to create a dictionary, blah blah blah. Okay. So for each student in your students list, print out that student's data as follows. So uh, for student in student, print the student's name. So, um, there. So we have Lloyd. So we need. Oh, okay. Let me think this through. Uh, for each student in your students list, print out that student's data as follows. Print the student's name. Print. Uh. Let's see. Let's try this in Python file. New file. Um, let's save it as something, anything. By. And what's going to happen if we print just student? Uh, if you're wondering why I'm doing run F5, it, it's because my F5 key doesn't work for some reason. So that print didn't do anything from what I can see. Oh, actually, no, it did do. What am I talking about? So student, it prints out everything but unorganized. So what's going to happen if we do? Um, so it prints the information of each student in students but unorganized. So we have access to that. Now we need to get access to the keys of that. So let's try for n for key in student and try to print a student and key. So what's right now? So we need to print the student's name homework and quizzes as well as their tests so if we do run uh, we print we go into student and then for key in student it prints their the key the value of the key so what if we just do print key and then print key and then comma student key uh, that's going to at least tell us what it's printing so plus this is easier uh, okay ah okay then Want to be like that. Um, run. So it prints. Hmm. I do not actually understand. Uh, so it goes into. So let's follow. Lloyd. So the student in students is going to be uh, Lloyd first, or should be first. So and then it goes into key of Lloyd and prints key. The first key of Lloyd is name, but here it's not name. Mm. Okay, I do not know why it's doing this. 
so hopefully this is going to work when we move on for the next lesson so for now thank you for watching and goodbye